All right, let's get started. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place on Friday, the 11th of August at ICL Candy. Center number is 459B. Candidate is Mohammed Nizam Mohammed Samir. Candidate number is 001322. The examiner is Chaturya Besinger and the examiner number is 001816. All right. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Uh, before starting, can I have your identification, please? Yes. May I know your name in full? My full name is Muhammad Nizam Muhammad Samir. And what should I call you? Okay, you can call me Samir. All right. Samir, uh, let's move on to the part one of your test. And here I will be asking some questions on the topic hometown all right where did you grow up and can you describe me a little bit about your hometown i uh, i was born and grew up in kendi mm -hmm. uh, and i went to school in kendi too all right is there a place that is very special to you in your hometown yes there is uh, so many uh, favorite place to me such as uh, Talada Maliga, which is called uh, Temple of the Two Trilly, mm -hmm. and the Botanical Garden. May I know why you like that place? Because it is the most attract attractive uh, tourist place in uh, Sri Lanka. All right. Do many people use public transportation to get around your city? Yes, definitely. Because uh, our city is lack of uh, parking facility, so most of the people. Uh, are using public transport. How do most people get around your city? Do they use the public transportation or the private? Uh, most of the people used to use their use the public transportation because uh, it's very cheap nowadays because of the economic crisis. Most All right. What are the important landmarks in your hometown? Yeah, there is so many landmarks in my hometown. Uh, such as uh, clock tower and right. yes, cut it. At, uh, clock tower and Bahira and uh, Pallekala International Cricket Stadium uh -huh. and uh, Temple of the Two Trilly. What are some of the things people can do in your hometown? Uh, there is a lot of things to do in my hometown, uh, such as they can uh, ride a uh, board and they can visit to the Poetera, the near botanical garden and also they can uh, enjoy the Hantana mountain. All right, Samir, let me take you to another topic. It's about the drinks, right? What do you like to drink with your dinner and why? Uh, I prefer to drink uh, fresh juice because I always uh, like to have fresh juice uh -huh. because it's uh, help for uh, me. Uh, so I used to drink lemon tea with me. All right. Do you drink a lot of water every day? Why or why not? Yes, I am. I am having a lot of uh, water every day because it's very important to our life and our our health. Do you prefer drinking tea or coffee? Mostly, I like to drink coffee because uh, my favorite uh, is coffee mm -hmm. because it's uh, there is so many flavors so i like to drink espresso coffee all right so if people visit in your home what do you usually offer them to drink yes uh, mostly i offer to them coffee mm -hmm. because my uh, city is a little bit cold mm -hmm. weather so compared to the weather i always used to prefer coffee for them all right samir that is the end of part one of your test let me take you to part two of your test. Here you will be given a cue card and you will be uh, giving one minute for preparation and you will have to speak about the topic for one to two minutes. So here is your topic and you have the paper and the pen and you have one minute for preparation. Your time starts now.
All right, Samir, that is the end of your time. So you can start now. Yeah, I would like to visit uh, Dubai mm -hmm. uh, because it is the most famous city in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Dubai is the main mm -hmm. main place uh, in the world for the business and tourists. Uh, it is the main. It is most uh, attract attractive tourist destination uh, in the world mm -hmm. because. Uh, I heard about Dubai, so I would like to visit Dubai because of the uh, developed because of the developed country. I would like to enjoy the meal, and I would like to visit the tallest building in the world, and uh, I would like to uh, enjoy the enjoy the city uh, because it is the uh, most technology developed uh, city in the world and uh, I heard about the uh, food delivery through the uh, through the air transportation mm -hmm. so I want to see all of that wow. so I would like to visit Dubai uh, in the future all right. So there are so many cities in the world, right? Why have you selected Dubai? Why would you like? Is there a special reason apart from this uh, technology and all of this? Yes, uh, because it's uh, very easy to uh, get a visa to fly Dubai uh -huh. rather than other cities. Also, uh, we can go with the small budget. Also, the language is familiar to me. Uh -huh. So I already, uh, I have been already in the Middle East. But I, I had a plan to visit Dubai. Unfortunately, I didn't got the chance. Also, the uh, quick developed country in the Middle East. So All I right. Like to see Thank you, Samir. Let me take you to part three of your test. This is about visiting cities on holiday. What are the most interesting things to do while visiting cities on a holiday? Yes, uh, we should. Uh, do a planning and we should visit uh, which is very interesting mm -hmm. and uh, which is uh, we will go once in a blue moon mm -hmm. so we should enjoy that uh, as an example we can visit to the star class hotels and enjoy the meal and as well as enjoy the uh, nature uh, sometimes there is a man-made uh, man-made sea I had uh, the cities, so such things we can enjoy because we will enjoy in once in a life. All right. What can? Why can it be expensive to visit cities on holiday? Yeah. Why is it expensive sometimes to visit cities on a holiday? Yes, most of the people uh, choose the best destination to visit uh, in the holidays. Mm -hmm. So. When we are going to book a hotel or when we are going to book a restaurant, it's a very demanding time. When it is a very demanding time, it's very difficult to get the hotels and the other things. So it will be uh, coming more expensive that time. So that is all right. Do you think it is better to visit cities alone or in a group with friends? Yeah, definitely. I would prefer to go with uh, groups. Because uh, if we go with a uh, group, it will be uh, good and uh, we can enjoy a lot rather than go alone. Mm -hmm. Because if you got a, even we go to book a room, if we book... Uh, so why to, have cities increased in size during the past few years? Why have cities increased in size during the past few years? Yes, uh, because... Uh, there is so many modern uh, infrastructures uh, need to build uh, between the cities uh, such as metro mm -hmm. and uh, overbridge because of uh, because uh, there is lack of uh, place so need to increase the size of the cities to get uh, more comfortable to the public as well as the government. So what are the challenges created by these big cities? 
Yes, most of the problem uh, causing uh, by uh, air pollution because of the increase of the population, mm -hmm. they used to use uh, own vehicles, so emissions are polluted the air. Mm -hmm. So also uh, using the uh, plastics and uh, it uh, destroy and it's uh, very uh, dangerous to the environment. All right. So, in what ways do you think cities of the future will be different from the cities today? Yes, uh, mostly, uh, as my point of view, uh, most of the cities will uh, face a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So, cities uh, should be uh, in the uh, proper uh, infrastructure uh, with infrastructure facilities. Also, the individual should uh, protect the uh, cities because that is the part of uh, part of uh, responsibility. So, most of the cities should be in a, in the uh, proper environment protection plan. Mm -hmm. So, it will be a uh, very uh, useful for the cities. All right, Samir, that is the end of your test, and thank you. Thank you.